hey today i am going to model a cassette plate which is used in structures so this whole exercise we i, I am going to model in nx part modeling so i selected yg plane where i will draw a rectangle so first of all in application i selected modeling and from modeling i select sketch and here at yg plane i will draw a rectangle of having size 180 by 180 so in this way i am di dimensioning this sketch in ribbon bar you see a rapid dimension you can select from there but it in this sketch by default dimensions created i just fix them sketch size is 180 by 180 so i will give 180 to width of this sketch now finish it i will extrude this sketch to some sort of extend i selected this sketch and i also give the vector in which direction i want to extrude it by default it is in correct position but from direction i will choose my required dire direction so here is x and i will give thickness to this plate this sketch by 10 mm limiting limits i will define the thickness of plate now click okay i will create a sketch to make a vertical plate on this plate on this base plate first of all i give holes on this plate on base plate so this one is the point for the hole i will define i will fix it by giving dimension from 0 0 so here i will give dimension suppose i will give it 60 so see how it move from move away from origin so to bring it back i will give 30 mm from the bottom left corner 30 by 30 my total width of the plate is 180 so i will give defined it 30 from each end and now 
I will define the whole dimension. It is a simple hole and I will give 20 mm hole and depth of this hole is 10 mm as our plate is 10 mm so same height I will give and here I select subtract by default when there is a hole it come subtract option come now hole is created we create more holes by giving feature pattern command pattern feature command so hole is a feature here hole is feature and I select linear and select this hole I move in I can define here the two direction two directional linear pattern feature I will give I will define and asking for the direction in which direction you want to define and spacing for the spacing I chose I choose I chose count and pitch Two and one twenty, okay. And now direction two. I will give. I give by direction by selecting vector and one twenty. So in this way, three more holes created on this plate. Total four holes created. Now I will create a vertical plate on this base plate. I will for it I will draw a cat is in a form of rectangle. And coincide each midpoint each sketch midpoint the sketch created and sketch already created so, so here coincident constant geometrical constant I select and select the midpoint and same way I select midpoint of second sketch to which I want to align it I end select it by shift and selecting it again finish the sketch give the width give the thickness I will give 10 mm like for 60 mm I will give so it is quite higher than the base, base plate which is not good as in press in perception of engineering so I will give distance from the starting point I will define the value from the starting point that value is 153 What happened? Why not 153 is given? I was just checking from the drawing how much be the dimensions of it. Now I will give it 10. I forget to 
update that dimension so I made these changes now uh, also unite it with base plate although it is in welding it it is the first base plate is welded of joined by welding but we are modeling just to showing how to model in NS is only purpose of making this video now I will define outer sketch which will subtract from the existing plate in this way I will draw cats From here, I will give dimension. I will not take much time. So, dimensioning I will do quickly. Finish it and subtract it, this sketch, from the existing plate. So, the sketch is selected. Now, I will select the direction as unable to create body change the section so section I need to change I will not change the section but direction of extrusion extrusion to extrude direct extrude diamond direction I will change and subtract from the I hide the sketch so you can look at it in better way now I will create the slots on this face of the plate yeah I will draw a rectangle and make parallel to the edge of plate so I will give I will define parallel constraint to it and now I will draw a circle which passes through each line of rectangle and give and make it tangent to it so you will learn here how to make a geometry constraint or sketch constraint see that already tangent there now I will uh, draw second circle on opposite end of the created circle and in same way I will define the geometric constraint to this sketch
Finish this sketch and we will see how I give slot on the plate. So I selected these curves as in selection bar in selection bar I stop selection at intersection points. I will give it 10 mm. Hide the sketches. And now one slot is created on this plate. One more slot to be created. First of all, I just modify this sketch, define it, define the dimensions from the edges. Suppose I will give it 20. And the and vertex of this rectangle sketch from the sketch origin and this dimension I will give 30 mm. So in this way it the sketch adjusted. Now I there is I will see pattern feature command which is not in history so I will go on in insert and associate copy from here associate copy from here I will select pattern feature and this is extrude is a feature here and I will give direction as the edge of this plate and flip the direction direction second is not required 60 mm defined in direction 1 and check direction 2 and then ok in this way second slot created on the plate ok thank you for watching this video in this way, we created a guess